Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. All right, on behalf of Josh and Ashley, I want to thank you all for coming today, family and friends, to observe a sacred ceremony uh, that dates back all the way to Genesis chapter 3, the very beginning of mankind. And we're here yet again to see something very beautiful. And so let's ask the Lord's blessings that he, first and foremost, will be honored today. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for Josh and Ashley, and thank you for the wedding ceremony that we're going to see. Thank you for the friends and the family that have invested hours and years of their lives into each one of them. I pray that, Lord, first and foremost, that you're lifted up today, that uh, there would be all of us a reminder of what this ceremony represents. So we thank you for this time together. Thank you for the preparation uh, of their lives to be brought together for this very purpose. And I pray, God, that you would be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. You may be seated. The Bible says in Genesis 2, in verse 24, that therefore shall a man leave his father and mother and shall cleave unto his wife, and they two shall be one flesh. And so what we're doing today is really not man's idea. It was God's idea or God's design. And Josh, the Bible does say in Proverbs 18, 22, uh, 22 that whosoever findeth a wife findeth a good thing. And uh, it is a blessing for a man to be uh, given a wife from God. And I want to say this morning that uh, you both are coming together today, and uh, we're going to celebrate with both of you in this wonderful ceremony, uh, but it is not something, as we've already said, it's not something that man came up with. It is a design by God himself, the creator. And uh, Josh, it is, uh, the Bible clearly states in creation that it is not good for man to be alone. Now, if God says something's not good, it's probably definitely not good, right? And everything else in creation, everything was good. When he made the first day, second day, third day, everything was good until uh, he created man. And before he created woman, he said, it's not good. It's not good for man to be alone. And so he then created Eve for Adam. And uh, the reason is that she would be a help meet to him. That's the beginning and so when we're coming together here today, it's the beginning of your relationship. It's, re it's the beginning of your descendants uh, and uh, se separate families, uh, separate backgrounds, uh, separate personalities, but you're coming together as one today. And I believe all of us can join together understanding that we're rejoicing with both of you. And we are praying for both of you as you exchange your vows to one another. It's more than just uh, a ceremony. It's a, it's a covenant. Uh, you're coming together between two sacrifices, as Genesis 15 gave a really interesting picture of a biblical sacrifice and a covenant that Abraham was uh, going to have between him and God, and really God giving it to Abraham. And there was a sacrifice that was split, and the Lord you know, moved between the sacrifice. And this is a covenant setting. Uh, we came in today. Josh, you initiated the ceremony today by coming in those doors. And then Ashley came down the aisle between uh, one family and the other family. Both, of course, sacrificed to bring this day together. And so this is a covenant setting. And it is initiated, as you remember, by God himself uh, 6,000 years ago. And so... What it is bigger than that is that there's a wonderful picture here today, and that is the picture between Christ and the church. Uh, the blessing is this morning is that, Josh, you are a picture of uh, the bridegroom, obviously, as the person of Christ, and Ashley, you're a picture of the bride, which is a picture of the church. And one day there's going to be a marriage in heaven, and it does say in Revelation 19.7, and let us be glad and rejoice and give honor and glory for the marriage of the Lord has come and his wife hath made herself ready. And so what we're hearing today and what we're seeing today has displayed a beautiful picture of one day when the church is married to the Lord Jesus Christ in a ceremony in heaven. 
And I would love for all of us, all family and friends, all those that are watching online, to be a part of that, cer- that one day, that ceremony in heaven by trusting Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior and being part of the uh, espoused wife to our Lord. And I encourage anyone that does not know Christ as their Savior to get saved before it's eternally too late. But this morning, Josh and Ashley, neither of you are vowing as you're going to exchange your vows together. You're not vowing to be perfect, nor are you vowing that you'll always do everything just as the other would wish. Uh, But you are vowing to be true to each other. You're vowing to be honest to each other, faithful to each other, caring and loving for the rest of your lives. And so as we come to this time, I wanted just to uh, uh, let Josh... uh, read for Ashley the promises that he wrote out for her, and I want to give him what he wrote in in his own handwriting this morning, that he could read that, not only for Ashley to hear, but for everyone else. To Ashley, my wife in the making, I've prayed for years that God would send me a wife. I've prayed that he would send me a wife who is after the heart of God more than she is after the heart of any man. And I truly believe that that woman is you. Ashley, I promise to love and cherish you. I promise to strive each day to be the leader that God calls me to be of both our marriage and our home. I promise to keep God first in my life and you second. I promise that my love for you will not just be words spoken, but that it will be in action as well. I promise to pray for you daily. Ashley, I love you and I thank God for you each and every day. And I'm so thankful and blessed that God gave me, gave me you. Amen. Take that. Ashley has also prepared those remarks for Josh. Um, he sent those to me this morning. They're Do you have those? Right? Okay, they're in the nursery. Can we send someone to get those while we wait? I really they're want that. that. Amy, they're got that? Okay, no, that's fine. These are the details of marriage, and it's okay. All right. These are very important. <laughs> What a blessing it is. And I will say this, that as we wait for those promises to come, that uh, the Lord Jesus Christ has been very gracious to us to be able to uh, let us even see through 6,000 years of human history, yet again, another picture of the Lord's return. One day he's going to come back and get his bride. And we're looking forward to that time when we see him face to face. And the day is approaching very quickly. And we praise God for just another reminder of that. And so our wedding coordinator is coming with... Ashley's promises that she has written out for Josh. Thank you so much. Ashley. You wrote a lot more than I did. Josh. As a little girl and throughout my life, I have prayed for the man I would one day call my husband. And today, as I look into your eyes, I see the answer to my prayer in you. And I promise, as I stand here before you, and before God, that I will continue to pray for you throughout the rest of our lives. I promise to walk beside you as your friend and companion, submitting to you in obedience to God as a spiritual leader of our home. I promise to encourage you in life and in your walk with the Lord, to be your help as you serve him and to follow wherever he may lead. Proverbs 31, 11 and 12 say, the heart of her husband does safely trust in her so that he shall have no need of spoil. And she will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. It is my heart's desire to live out these verses for you so that your heart may safely trust in me. I promise to build with you a home where love is the law and God's name is magnified. Should God bless us with children, I will do my best to help you to raise them in the fear and admonition of our Lord. When child When trials and hard times come, as we know they shall, I will stand beside you, seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, knowing that our strength comes from the Lord. Joshua, you are the man of my dreams, the love of my life, and the captain of my heart. I am so honored to have you choose me to be your wife. I will love you, and I will cherish you for the rest of our lives. This is my promise to you. Okay. I get very emotional on these things, so just give me a second. Very mature. 
Josh and Ashley, if both of you have freely and deliberately chosen each other as partners for life, would you please join your hands? Josh, the Bible says in Ephesians 5.25, husbands love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. Josh, you're about to take upon yourself with pure resolve and solemn vows incurring grave consequences and lasting responsibilities. The woman of your choice is now going to become the partner of your life, the co-heir of your possessions, and the queen of your home. In no other way could she so manifest her love for you. Ashley leaves her home ties, her companions, her friends, all these, to share in the joys and even the sorrows of life. With you, she will now abide, and for you, she will now live. Josh, will you take Ashley to be your wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward in sickness and in health, in poverty as in wealth, forsaking all others so long as you both shall live? Do you so promise? I promise. Ashley, the Bible says in Ephesians 5, verse 22 and 23, wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands. You're assuming the responsibility of being a wife. He whom you're about to wed will look to you for solace and comfort in the hour of trials. Your smile should be his brightest day, and your voice his sweetest music, and your industry his greatest wealth. Your economy his safest steward, and your words his faithful counselor. And most importantly, your prayers his most, his most advocate in heaven's court. Ashley, if Josh is your choice to be your husband for the rest of your, of your life, and you choose him today to be your husband, will you have him to be your wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward in sickness as in health and poverty as in wealth, forsaking all others so long as you both shall live to you so promise? I do. Josh, Repeat after me these words as we are going to look at the vows and repeat these vows to one another. I, Josh Regal, take thee, Ashley Duggar. I, Josh Regal, take thee, Ashley Duggar. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and cherish. To love and cherish. Forsaking all others. Forsaking all others. So long as you both shall live. So long as we both shall live. Ashley, would you repeat after me these words? I, Ashley Duggar, take thee, Josh Regal. I, Ashley Duggar, take thee, Josh Regal. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better or for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and cherish. To love and cherish. Forsaking all others. Forsaking all others. As long as you both shall live. As long as we both shall live. I would ask, Josh, what token of love and appreciation do you have to give to Ashley to show your vows to her today. A ring. In the past, um, men would enter into agreements through handshakes and um, going into contracts. And it would be, if, if you would symbolize, when, when the Lord made a contract or a covenant with man, he always used a symbol. For example, after the flood, God provided a rainbow. Uh, and that was a symbol of God not going to be judging the world again. It was a covenant that God was making with mankind. You're coming today, and you're going to symbolize by uh, this ring your vows to Ashley. So if you would place that on the third finger of her left hand, please. I'm going to say, first of all, this ring is made of gold. And uh, by the way, gold is at least easily tarnished metal. It's a precious metal, and I charge you, never let anything tarnish your relationship. Uh, it's also an endless circle. It should never end. 
And for a ring to be broken, it must have something from from the outside to tarnish or break that. Don't, Don't let anything from the outside of your vows or marriage break you apart. That's why the Bible says, what therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. Don't let anyone tear you apart. And so, Josh, will you take this ring as you give it to your bride here and repeat these words? I join my life to yours. I join my life to yours. Not merely as your husband. Not merely as your husband. But as your friend. But as your friend. As your confidant. As your confidant. Let me be the shoulder you lean on. Let me be the shoulder that you lean on. The rock on which you rest. The rock at which you wet, uh, on re- which you rest. The companion of your life. The companion of your life. With you, I will walk our path. With you, I will walk our path. From this day forward. From this day forward. I give you all that I am. I give you all that I am. And all that I am to become. And all that I am to become. Take this ring. Take this ring. And with it, my promise of faith, patience, and love. And with it, my promise of faith patience and love for the rest of my life for the rest of my life Ashley what symbol of love and appreciation do you have to give to Josh the ring would you place that on the third finger of his left hand please Ashley repeat these words I Ashley Duggar I Ashley Duggar Join my life to yours. Join my life to yours. Not merely as your wife. Not merely as your wife. But as your friend. But as your friend. As your confidant. As your confidant. Let me be the shoulder that you lean on. Let me be the shoulder that you lean on. The rock on which you rest. The rock on which you rest. The companion of your life. The companion of your life. With you, I will walk our path. With you, I will walk our path. From this day forward. From this day forward. I give you all that I am. I give you all that I am. And all that I am to become. And all that I am to become. Take this ring. Take this ring. And with it, my promise of faith, patience, and love. And with it, my promise of faith, patience, and love. For the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. Now, because of the love that you now have for each other, and after the exchanging of your wedding vows, and the giving and receiving of rings, Being a minister of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ in the state of Ohio, and according to the laws of the state of Ohio, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the love that you have given to Josh and Ashley to exchange these lifelong vows. We thank you for all that you are doing in the lives of these that are here today. Bless them in a very special way. Use their marriage to reach many people for the Lord Jesus Christ and to display your wonderful grace in their lives. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.
Now, Josh, Ashley is now your wife. You may kiss your bride. Woo! <laughs> Ladies and <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I take great privilege in introducing to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Josh Regal. God bless you. The ushers will come now and uh, dismiss the mothers first and then row by row from the front to the back. And it'll be just a small reception but, but because of COVID uh, to...